Here's a really odd statement. The best way to learn doubles on your single pedal is to not practice your doubles. Stick around and I'll explain. As odd as that statement is, there is some truth to it. What I'm really trying to say is the key to learning solid, clean, and quick doubles is by working on your quads and triples first, then you work on your doubles. The quads and triples are a bit more difficult to develop, but once you have them under control, learning doubles becomes a breeze. Here's what's coming up. I have a few single pedal exercises for you to try out in the order I present them. First, we focus on the only quad exercise you need to work on. Then we focus on four triple exercises. Then we get into five doubles exercises that will make you groove like a champ. And finally, we have a bonus doubles exercise that completely seals the deal. There is a link in the description below allowing you access to a PDF of all the exercises. But before we start, let's quickly say hello to all the newbies watching. My name is Marcos Patafora and the name of this channel is Whole Lot of Drumming. I create videos that help drummers improve and expand. If that resonates with you, consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so that you are always caught up with what goes on here. All right, let's begin. This first exercise is the only quad exercise to work on when you want to improve your doubles. It doesn't matter which technique you use. If heel up is your thing, then use the heel up technique. I play heel toe technique because it came natural to me as a kid. However, I do practice heel up as well. Practice this exercise at 60 beats per minute and work your way up to 90 beats per minute. Repeat for two to five minute intervals. Now, let's focus on the triples. This is where we have three 16th notes in a row. There are four of them. Practice each one starting at 60 beats per minute, working your way up to 100 beats per minute at two to five minute intervals. Once you have the quads at 90 beats per minute and the triples at 100 beats per minute, you are ready to start the doubles exercises. There are also four of them. Try starting at 80 beats per minute, eventually working your way up to 130 beats per minute. Take your time with this. The worst thing you can do is move the tempos up too soon. I can't express enough that this is not a race to achieve your doubles goal. Let the muscle memory process take as long as it needs to take.
This exercise summarizes all four doubles in one drum beat. As you will see, it is polyrhythmic in nature. Try this exercise right after you have done all four doubles before going to the next tempo. Before you end this bass drum practice session, try playing a groove, inserting the doubles anywhere you want. Basically, it's an improv exercise. This helps you to play doubles without thinking. A very useful skill set when learning songs or jamming with your bandmates. Do this at any tempo you like. Here is the bonus I mentioned earlier. Let's use the doubles as 16th note triplets. They are very effective when played this way. John Bonham was notorious for this. I would suggest starting at 50 beats per minute and working your way up to 90 beats per minute. If you really dig those triplet doubles, I have a video on the drum book Realistic Rock by Carmen Apice where we focus on the triplet double section of the book. Even if you don't read, I think you'll enjoy it. It will be available at the end of this video. To sum up, learning doubles is a whole lot easier when you first work on quads and triples. The muscle memory is already laid out for your doubles. A very effective method. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Click like if you enjoyed this video. Share it with anyone you think that can benefit from this approach. And a reminder to subscribe if you haven't already done so and clicking that notification bell. Also, grab that PDF in the link below. Stay well, stay safe, practice these exercises, and most of all, have a whole lot of fun. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.